unit 2 module 1 line path and direction page 3 unit 2 module 1 line path and direction page 4 unit objectives by the end of this unit students will be able to explain different types of lines identify visual concepts with lines outline the attributes of lines and identify the contemporary use of lines in fashion introduction in this module we will learn about the types of lines visual concepts with lines attributes of lines and contemporary usage in fashion introduction one of the most important elements of design is the line which des defines a subject's form or shape on a flat two-dimensional surface a line is defined as a mark that connects two points introduction a line has a beginning and an ending it is the starting place for most artistic creation whether one is starting a fine drawing or painting or even sketching ideas for a sculpture the course a line takes to move from one point to another is called path The quality of a line has the ability to express psychological characteristics of a composition to an audience. A line leads the eye of the viewer from one point to another. line often defines a space and may create an outline or contour define a silhouette create patterns or movement and the illusion of mass or volume line is a mark made by a moving point that has length and direction line is not necessarily an artificial creation of the artist or designer it exists in nature as a structural feature such as branches or as surface design such as striping on a tiger or a seashell it can function independently to suggest forms that can be recognized even when the lines are limited in extent this can be seen in drawings such as the stall steinberg illustration or in alexander calder's minimal wire sculptures which convey a great deal of information about the figure with the most limited line
Lines can be combined with other lines to create textures and patterns. This is common in engravings and pen and ink drawings. The use of line in combination results in the development of form and value. However, line is not always explicit. It can exist by implication as the edge of forms. We can speak of a horizon line or the lines of a car or a fashion silhouette even though we know there is no literal line present. relationship between two lines. There are endless possibilities when two lines meet or use together. When two lines join, they create an angle between them. This joint or point of connection becomes the starting point to move in two different directions along two different lines. Multiple joints create a sense of altered direction. When the angle between lines is acute that is less than 90 degrees, the movement and change in direction is perceived to be rapid. Separating lines from each other's focus, attention on the individual identity of each line and the interval between them. As the interval or space between a series of lines and the width of those lines varies, a rhythm is created. This can be especially spotted in the use of stripes in a garment. Changing the color or value of the lines can add more complexity to that rhythm. Changing thickness or weight of lines and the intervals between lines creates a sense of depth. Lines that appear closer together have more tension between them and advance to the foreground. Lines further apart have less tension between them and recede into the background. If a line or lines is added to a series of lines at an angle and allowed to cross several lines, this sense of depth is increased. It creates perspective. What we see here is an image of herring illusion. 
in this case the usage of lines have created a certain elusive effect to the human eye the two horizontal lines that we see are actually straight but due to the usage of the other intersecting lines the two horizontal straight lines visually appear curved to the human eye thus the way an image look can be affected by the way the lines are placed in an image thick lines placed close together create a thin line in the negative space between them this negative space line can often become the positive element and the original lines are seen as the new negative space types of lines there are five main types of lines they are horizontal lines vertical lines diagonal lines curved lines and zigzag lines types of lines now let us have a look at the different types of lines vertical lines vertical lines are straight up and down and perpendicular to horizontal lines horizontal lines are straight from left to right and perpendicular to vertical lines diagonal lines diagonal lines are lines that are straight in any direction except vertical or horizontal when used in combination with vertical or horizontal lines they form an angle zigzag lines zigzag lines are a series of diagonal lines joined end to end curved lines these are lines that blend in any amount of degree they may be gently wavy to tightly wound spirals we can see image examples here all vertical lines have an undefined slope all horizontal lines have a zero slope now let us look at the types of diagonal lines what we see here is a non vertical diagonal line with a positive slope and the other one is a non vertical line with a negative slope a classic zigzag line can be seen here and also a curved line
horizontal lines. Lines applied horizontally often evoke feelings of stability, grounding, emphasis and direction. So, although horizontal lines tend to create length and lower the horizon of a space, they can also be applied to direct the viewer to a particular focal point. Let us look at some live examples of usage of lines in fashion. The most common use of lines in fashion is stripes in various forms. Apart from stripes, we will also talk about the silhouettes of some outfits. The picture on the left is a coat with a yellow fabric lining, has a stunning blazer, slim fit legging pants, monochrome striped button down and white booties. Please note how the monochrome striped shirt has a combination of vertical and horizontal stripes. The picture on the right shows a modern rocker outfit with a long vest, a high neck top embellished with a front zip and skinny trousers all in blacks and white. This outfit depicts an interesting usage of combination of horizontal and vertical lines. The picture on the left shows a mini t-shirt dress which is a perfect piece for summer nights. It features vertical black stripes and horizontal strawberry stripes. It is interesting that a horizontal line effect is created by strawberry motifs and not just strokes. The picture on the right shows an A line silhouette which is oversized tank dress in a monochromatic horizontal stripe. We will learn in detail about silhouettes in the coming modules. But just note for now that this is an A-lined silhouette. We have some interesting striped examples here. Take a moment to observe these pictures. Please note how thickness of the lines, usage of combination of colors affects the whole look of the garment. We, what we see here is Tommy Hilfiger and Max Mara broad colorful horizontal stripes which has been stitched into duster cardigans, body suits and knit dresses. They have balanced the clingy nature of these bodycon pieces with a casual sneaker.
What we see here is an outfit from designer Barmen. Please note the stripes created in the trouser. This ensemble shows narrow pants, jackets, women's designs heavily inspired by men's fashion, but at the same time attractive with lots of shiny materials and details. The picture on the right shows horizontal lines formed with different sequined embroidery. Yet another example of stripes, but used in a completely different manner. The picture on the left has the top part of the garment with lines formed in hard motifs. The asymmetrical skirt and the sleeve has black and red stripes with an all over floral print, which makes the stripes all the more interesting. The picture on the right has soft pastel colored stripes used in combination with strong black color giving the feminine girly look. These pictures are from Strenes Gabriel Streely Spring Summer Runway Collection. We spoke earlier about how the interval between a series of lines and the width of those lines varies, a rhythm is created. That can be clearly spotted in the images here. The picture on the left also has a combination of vertical and horizontal stripes. The yoke at the top has vertical stripes whereas the bottom has horizontal stripes with the intervals in large numbers at the top gradually becoming closer at the bottom thus creating a rhythm. The same happens with the trouser. The top part of the trouser has stripe with large intervals, uh, but as we go down, the intervals gradually decrease. A similar effect has been achieved with the picture on the right. Please note how the usage of positive and negative space has affected the look of the garment. The top part of the top which the model is wearing here has thick white space or stripes and thin black stripes whereas the bottom garment has thick black stripes and thin white stripes. The same is happening with the trouser. Also please note that the shoes used along with these outfit has an interesting checks. A check of course is also achieved by usage of lines intersecting with each other.
the picture on the left is an example of how broad horizontal lines can bring shape to very loose garments. This is an outfit for, by Mulberry. The picture on the right has a flared skirt with multi-layered thick and thin horizontal stripes. In these examples, we can understand how stripes bring character to a garment. Now we are looking at examples of usage of stripes in menswear. Striped shirts, whether long or short sleeve, come in a variety of colors and stripe designs. There are also knitted shirts in stripes and striped trousers, denims, shorts, shoes, sports shoes, boots, etc. to create different types of looks. We can see an attractive and beautiful balloon skirt using horizontal lines in blue, orange, white and green. We will learn about the usage of colors in details in another module. This picture on the right shows men's color blocked striped knitwear on the autumn winter menswear runways. Please take a moment to observe the different attire used in different ways. We have an interesting abstract effect created through this irregular striped print. The picture on the right shows nautical stripes. The use of blue has always been associated with the sea and sailors. Blue and white stripes are called nautical stripes. We can see another example of nautical stripes. This is one of a classical design popular. Also on the right is an women's outfit with colorful stripes, each color varying in thickness, balancing the whole look. A high neckline, thicker statement blue and white horizontal stripes. Please note that the straw hat 
has also been rimmed with blue stripes adding value to the look the skinny belt cinches in the waistline is also striped on the right is a summer short sleeve chiffon dress with an elastic waist it is a teen dress vertical lines vertical lines are often associated with strength stability balance and elevation it has been hypothesized that viewing vertical lines is unnatural compared to viewing horizontal lines Additionally vertical lines extend away from our visual plane for these reasons the length of a vertical line applied vertically is often extended lending to the feeling of elevation in a space Now let us look at some examples of usage of vertical lines in fashion. Vertical stripes are said to be figure flattering and makes a person look relatively taller and thinner. Please have a look at few examples here. the picture we see here is again a very classic and smart looking nautical striped jacket and asymmetrical skirt the thin white lines are otherwise called as pin stripes and the navy blue color gives a very regal look On the right is an outfit which pairs vertical candy stripes in delightful pink and blues. This outfit is inspired by Mondrian art which has striped knit skirt with horizontal striping up top in the form of a ribbon around the shoulders and is also called a bandeau top On the right is a barman outfit from his spring collection It is a striped halter jumpsuit.
we can see an outfit here made with a very delicate fabric. It is from Tadashi Shoji spring ready to wear. We can see a juxtaposition of manly stripes and strong vertical lines in a delicate fabric. On the right is a blue and white ensemble from London Men's Wear Fashion Week. In this image, please note how the stripes widen to the flare of the skirt. This is an image from the collection of designer Carolina Herrera. On the right is an outfit from well-known designer Salvatore Ferragamo who has splashed horizontal and vertical stripes in fresh springtime shades. We are seeing few stripe designs from various designer. From left to right is Rosie Azolin, Alice plus Olivia, TB, Veronica Beard and Nicole Miller. Taking a page out of the Marc Jacobs playbook, several Milanese designers decorated boxy beach cover-ups with stark lines, vertical and horizontal. These are pictures from menswear designers. The first picture shows classic blue and white stripes on the sleeve. The second shows pin stripes on the trouser. The third picture shows classic red and white stripes on the men's shirt. The fourth is an interesting combination of thin and thick lines. Now let us look at usage of stripes in kids wear. On the left is an image of a vertical striped cat summer dress for a baby girl. On the right is a multicolored striped 
maxi dress. Again, the usage of combination of horizontal and vertical lines can be spotted. Diagonal lines. Diagonal lines usually connote a sense of dynamic movement, transformation and freedom. Diagonal lines can really bring life to a design direct the eye upwards or downwards. Diagonal lines add volume to a design, making it feel larger than it is. That being said, if applied incorrectly, diagonal lines can conjure a sense of confusion and imbalance. In the image shown here, we can see how the usage of diagonal lines adds attraction to a room. Contemporary uses of diagonal lines in fashion. The picture at the left is a navy and white striped swimsuit by American designer Tommy Hilfiger. In the right, Oscar de la Renta presents a black and white striped runway gown with horizontal stripes on the bodice and chevron stripes on the floor length skirt. Here are outfits from anthropology. Interesting usage of diagonal lines. The image on the left again plays with positive and negative space. On the top part of the garment, we can see diagonal lines with thin white stripes and thick black stripes and it is the opposite as we go to the bottom of the dress. On the right, negative and positive spaces has been used evenly but the way they have been intersected creates a very interesting effect. In the image here, we can see diagonal stripes on the JW Anderson Spring Summer Men's Wear Runway. On the right, we can see split diagonal lines on a dress. When two diagonal lines of different directions meet, forming a V shape, it is called a chevron.
this image is a good example of how small textural striping and diagonal place can be used to follow the curve of the body in a flattering way. This could also camouflage the less flattering areas. We can see some interesting usage of lines on these images here. Layered earth surfaces, cracked and marbled texture, chevron stripes, intarsia veins, diagonal textured stripes, inky bleeds, fuzzy mixtures. Very thin stripes have been used in these dresses. Small checks formed by intersection of lines have been used as print. The picture on the left shows diagonal lines in skirt. The picture on the right is a diagonal striped midi dress. It has an asymmetrical hemline and also please note the interesting usage of diagonal lines com in combination with horizontal and vertical lines. This outfit is from Tory Birch collection, a classic example of a diagonal striped dress. The picture on the right shows a dress with a combination of straight, vertical and diagonal lines. The way the stripes have been created creates an illusion of the shape of the dress. The image we see here is a great mixture of elegant and sporty look. On the left we see a diagonal striped jacket and a vertical striped trouser. On the right is an open double breasted blazer with diagonal knit two tone stripe. A great mix of elegant and sporty. What we see here is an outfit from Rick Owens ready to wear spring summer collection. It has a combination of diagonal stripes in flimsy fabric, a tie and dye printed outfit with black socks 
and platform ankle boots. Please note that the flimsy fabric has been used to drape the skirt in different interesting ways giving the stripe an interesting look. The picture here is a diagonal wrapped dress from Maxim Simon's Hot Couture Spring Summer on Paris Runways. It is interesting to note how thin stones and shades of blue fabric has been used to create diagonal panels. In this case, it is not exactly a stripe but it has been played with the usage of lines. A more or less similar thing has happened in the picture on the right. It is from Nicoletta Finetti's collection. Geometric cuts and patterns have been spotted on all the runways in all seasons. For a bold look, we have the just Kavali's mix of fabric cuts and pattern lines. Also, Versace's peekaboo dress. Jenny and Sportmax opted for softer colors and clean cut lines. In all these, we can spot manipulation of lines in different ways. Some examples in menswear. The picture on the left shows Ron Dorf diagonal lines sweatshirt. The picture on the right shows fabric manipulation. It is a men's short sleeve t-shirt with diagonal line stripes on a simple plain tee. In this case, the diagonal lines have been created by the fabric itself, thus forming a texture. Curved lines. Curved lines, whether freeform, arcing, circular or elliptical, often feel natural, organic, playful and soothing. If you are looking to make a design flow, curved lines are a great way to do it. They are also very voluminous, taking up space within a design. By applying lines in a way that relates to your ideology, you can create a form that appeals to your intents and highlights that design your craft.
contemporary use of curved lines in fashion. The picture on the right shows Isemiya ke neon kaleidoscopic lines. Please note how by just the use of different curved lines in different thickness, color and curvature, a kaleidoscopic effect has been created. The picture on the left is an off shoulder hourglass dress with curved and diagonal lines. Optical tricks achieved by layering translucent fabric in stripes, curved line patterns and fluttering silk is another example of creating interesting elusive effects through lines. The picture on the right shows how curved lines on the outer edge gives shape to the dress. These images shows how the fabric has been manipulated to create curved and jagged edges. On the right is a t-shirt which has curved lines. This image is from Boss Women's Wear. The focus is on craftsmanship and beautiful combination of contrasting textures and materials. On the right is an image from Jason Wu. To quote his exact words about this collection, every seam line is curved it is a very feminine collection. The image that we see here is that of a dress that is embellished curved hem dress in black, icy blue and blush and a selection of studded fabric. On the right is an outfit by Kuman Yu Hai, Jin's Spy News Magazine. It shows surrealistic waves on a skirt. This collection from DKNY is a good example of the usage of curves. It has nothing but exploration of curves which can be clearly seen in the images given here. In this image, we can see some curved panels which are color blocked. It is from AK Personal Styling. On the right is an outfit where curved lines are used in the design to add a very artistic view.
the picture on the left is from a runway where accessorized curved lines have been used in a dramatic manner in fashion design. The picture on the right shows color mixing with modern hem lines and curved lines with large geometric metallic earrings. This is a cream colored coat with curved lines formed by layers. The fabric has micro textures. The picture on the right has a very beach kind of look with coral and seaside colors mixing with modern hem lines and curved lines. It is interesting to note that in this image the use of line and curves has been done to create a pattern which resembles a human face. On the right is an outfit by Keith Charles Bonar. Please see how the silhouette itself has a curved shaped hem and a curved shaped overlap at the front. The sleeveless bodice has a nice curved line to add a little design interest to this kids wear dress. There are front pleats perfect for a little scope of movement. On the right is a teen wear garment with a curved hem pullover. zigzag lines. These lines slant and are diagonal lines connected at each point. These lines can create action and excitement. contemporary use in fashion. Zigzag lines that add excitement and movement to an article of clothing can be seen in this example. These lines can be slant more vertically or more horizontally. On the right we see horizontal and zigzag lines in black layered maxi dress. We can see an outfit of Wendy Hawks. It is a white crop dress with printed fabric. The zigzag lines on this dress is colorful and abstract. On the right 
is an outfit that has grey zigzag neck and side hem patch dress. Zigzag always paves way to geometry. We can see images of designers Temperley London, Matthew Williamson, Richard Nicole and Christopher Rayburn. Geometry in the traditional checks, stripes and boxy silhouettes and the abstract deviations can be seen here. A Chanel outfit with its iconic hat can be seen here. It has a white zigzag pattern, a shoulder bag also having the same zigzag pattern from Chanel's spring collection. On the right is a zigzag swimsuit by Daniel Scutt. These skirts in multicolored zigzag patterns reminds us of the 70s fashion in Italy. On the left is a Missoni girls classic zigzag dress. On the right is a boys outfit from Stella McCartney kids. Please note how it has been printed with zigzag lines. Visual concepts with lines. Line as a simple element functions in complex ways. When used effectively, line expresses a variety of verbal and visual concepts. Line works either by itself or in conjunction with other lines to communicate messages and impact audience. page 76. A line is a series of marks and points. The close connectivity of these points causes them to lose their individual identity and form a new identity. The direction, weight and character of line convey many different states and emotions. Please see the image here that is connected through lines. These lines lose their individual identity as lines but connect together to form a new identity that is a human face.
the following are the visual and verbal concepts that can be generated using line direction weight emotion tiredness content frustration focus division contour implication curvature and textures direction direction the path a line takes to travel from one point to another is called direction vertical lines suggest strength and power an example on line direction is the grouping of tall buildings or a single tall building if you see the image here we can spot that the lines are going upwards visually pulling your eye upwards these lines also create perspective suggesting height or distance horizontal lines symbolize tranquility and rest according to jirosk this state reflects objects parallel to the earth that are at rest in relation to gravity examples of horizontal lines are those in ocean waves or a horizontal building you will realize it if you take a moment to look at these example images Diagonal lines convey a feeling of action or direction. They are filled with restlessness and uncontrolled energy. Their kinetic energy and apparent movement create tension and excitement. diagonal lines are more dramatic than horizontal or vertical lines diagonal lines can also appear solid and unmoving if they are holding something up or at rest against a vertical line or plane Let us have a look at some examples in fashion. 
The picture we see here is from Claudia, Autumn Winter, New York Fashion Week. This outfit has vertical stripes making the person look thinner and taller. On the right is another directional example, transition in this case. We can see how the lines of knit fabric change color from light to dark. This has been achieved by the usage of darker thread in the knitting machine. Wait. Wait. The weight of a line conveys meaning as well. Thin lines are fragile. They suggest frailty and convey an elegant quality. They are delicate and give off an ephemeral air. Thick lines, on the other hand, appear difficult to break. They suggest strength and give emphasis to nearby elements. Thick lines are bold and make a statement. We can see some examples of thick lines in fashion in the images shown here. Spring collections at Milan Fashion Week where all three designers were inspired by op art, monochrome and a modern style with a lot of thick black stripes. So the first picture is from Dolce and Gabbana, the second from Moschino, the third again from Dolce and Gabbana. Emotion. Emotion. Lines are versatile, simple and effective graphic elements that certainly should not be taken for granted. Experimenting with them can invoke multiple emotions in a design. Please take a moment to observe the drawings shown here. They are artistic interpretations of emotions through line and shade. Tiredness. The illustration 
expressing fatigue shows an infinite series of squiggles. Drawing a curly squiggle requires more effort than drawing a simple line, suggesting that the artist expends energy. The few squiggles that appear out of proportion to the others convey a loss of control as if the artist succumbs to severe exhaustion at times. This itself can be considered as a design element creating emphasis. Content The illustration showing content communicates a carefree, relaxed message. The long curvy lines suggest looseness and the general pattern of these lines, each ending in a swirl, actually looks like a smile. The inconsistency in the weight of these lines shows that the artist can be expressive without having to follow strict design convections. Frustration The illustration conveying frustration appears to be in a maze. In this maze, the artist cannot move from one point to another without hitting an obstacle. The black color adds to the sense of doom. In contrast, the open white space on the right demonstrates freedom and optimism. Focus A line draws the audience attention to a specific object. An example is an arrow pointing to one man in a crowd. A more subtle example is a path leading to an abandoned house. The picture that we see here is that of focused lines in regular intervals forming a diamond or intarsia shape. On the right is outfits from spring summer 2018 fashion trends where the focus has been laid on the waist with the usage of bells or printed stripes. Division
lines separate chunks of information logically. A line also separates a view into two or multiple sections giving each section an individuality. The picture on the left is from Red Berger show from New York Fashion Week. See how the print on the dress creates division by lines. On the right is Betsy Johnson's show from New York Fashion Week. Another example of division by lines. We can see that the pockets flap in this dress has horizontal stripes. Also the collar. Contour. The purpose of contour is to emphasize the mass and volume of the subject rather than the detail. Its objective is to capture the life, action or expression of the subject. Contour can deliver an astonishing amount of visual delight. We can see examples of contour line drawing. The first image shows topographic contour lines. This can be commonly seen in maps. The second one shows an example of contour drawing of tools. Implication Implied drawing which means drawing only a broad outline. Lines need not edge the entire figure in order to illustrate it. Sometimes lines are implied allowing the audience to fill in the picture. We can see a drawing by Saul Steinberg which appears simple in form, yet it communicates effectively. The image we see here is an outfit with copper plated diagonal heels that shift the balance of the shoe leaving a rectangular gap between the lines. On the right is a dress with eyelet fabric that punctuates the space around resulting a shape within a shape.
कवीछ Curved lines are softer than straight lines. They sweep and turn gracefully between end points. They are less definite and predictable than straight lines. They can be calm or dynamic depending on how much they curve. The less active the curve, the calmer the feeling. texture texture pertains to the physical feel of an artwork it is important to remember that texture can be created in the tangible physical sense that is the artwork literally feels rough of bumpy when touched texture can also be an illusion giving the appearance of texture when in fact the surface is smooth one such example can be seen here these are examples of drawn texture on paper On the left is an image with lines to enhance texture. On the right shows an outfit from Manish Arora's Spring Summer collection. Rhythmic lines creating textures. Conclusion The different types of lines, visual concepts with lines, attributes of lines, contemporary use in fashion.